Hey, how's it going? And welcome along. I'm Roy from Break My Funeral. No, wrong. I was doing your try. Hey, how's it going? I'm Rory from Rammer Time, and welcome to Satisfactory 1.0. And I am very excited. Now, I did a Satisfactory playthrough a little while back, got quite far, did a fair few episodes, but then time unfortunately got away from me, and I kind of had to had to stop really. Um, but I really wanted to get back into it. But I said I would wait until version 1.0 was available, and sure enough, here we are today. Version 1.0 is now available. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to start a brand new playthrough right from the beginning, including all the onboarding, and I'm going to go on and try and build some kind of crazy mega factory and do some kind of cool and interesting things and see what the heck is going on in version 1.0. I cannot wait. So, let's start off. New game. We're going to go from the Northern Forest, and we need to give it a name, which is going to be Rama's Amazing Timeness, because I can't think of a better name, and that's fine. And yeah, everything is on default. Uh, let's just press go and let's see what it's all about. Okay, we still need to press confirm, <laughs> so now let's press go and see what it's all about. Separation from main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistian region. All pioneers functional, initiating dispersion. Attention Pioneer, I am Ada, your personal instance of the Artificial Directory and Assistant. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit Pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All Pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every Pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fixit selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Fixit. Short term solutions to long term problems. Initiating planet fall. Atmospheric entry in 3, 2, 1. Beginning arrow assist. Drag within acceptable parameters. Descent phase begun. Decelerating. Deploying parachute. Deploying backup parachute. Skipping parachute. Landing phase begun. Activating retro propulsion. Planet fall complete. Drop pod integrity nominal. Omni situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer. Acceptable. Congratulations. You are the third in your region to survive planet fall. Welcome to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. Loading objective based introduction. Begin onboarding. First contact safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere to Fixit procedure and equip the Fixit Inc. Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Right, so, okay. I mean, it's still amazing. I, that is such a great way to start a game as an intro sequence. It is so good. It's so slick. The combination of the 2D artwork on, on the screen while everything's going on, all the little details... You know the fact that the little cable on the tool on the on the wall is flapping around as you you're coming down. Honestly, I cannot get over how good it all is. It's so slick, it really is, and it has been for a long time, even throughout early access. It's amazing. So, leaves. 
This is going to be super, super important. So something I do want to do is grab a ton of leaves because we'll turn that into biomass fuel and we'll use that inside of our our biomass reactors to get us started and through the onboarding as quickly as possible. So now I've grabbed a few leaves, I'm going to do what it actually told me to do, which is put this in my hand. Next objective, dismantle the drop pod. Fix it incorporate it as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. The drop pod will be recycled to construct the first stage of the habitat and utility base, often referred to as the hub. That's another thing I love when you get a new tool or, or first get out a certain uh, weapon or whatever. The animation when they're testing it and playing with it. It's so, it's just so slick. Everything about it. And it's slightly different every time because I'm sure normally I've seen him, when he gets this one out, he sticks his finger in it and gives himself an electric shock and he didn't this time. So it must, it must be different. Anyway, we need to dismantle the pod. Uh, Next objective, what else do we, use so the resource these, scanner yeah. to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub. Right, resource, if you yep. cannot find iron, be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. Right, it looks like we are heading this way. <laughs> and I'm going to collect as many leaves as I can on the route. And a mushroom. Potential edible collected. Reminder that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. Just because it looks like you can eat it does not mean it won't eat you. Store this potential resource for later use. Potential edible collected. If consumed before authorized as compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences. Store this potential resource for later use. So, we found some iron ore. And we found a, some water. That's a pure note. I can hear something growling. Where are you? Ah! Come here, you. <laughs> really? Come on in. Oof! <laughs> Did you bonk your head? Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Preserve the remains for later study. Okay, so we've got a limestone node here as well. So we've got our iron ore just over there, which we need to get. And we are going to need this because we're going to need a ton of concrete. So I'm just going to grab some of this while I'm here. And I'm assuming, or I'm hoping this... Hello, where are you then? Is that you, is it? this one more iron I think next objective use the build gun to construct the hub iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources fix it does not pay by the kilometer yeah right so we'll grab a load more iron and then we will get this hub underway yeah I'm not sure I don't I don't remember exactly where I am I don't recognize this area I don't know if it's changed or whether it's just my memory. Is that copper there? Because if that's copper, then yeah, this will be all right as a starting point. Come on in. Oh, I missed. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so that's copper. There we go. Okay, we've got enough of a bit of everything to get started and we will go somewhere in the middle for now so let's have a look uh, hub the controls are flooding back to me it's crazy it's almost like I've <laughs> I never stopped playing uh, although I can't remember which way is the best way to have this facing I suppose it doesn't really matter in fact uh, let's do something like that 
because they're my. Built. The hub terminal oh, and craft I might have built it the wrong way around. Actually, the humble cause... beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective: complete hub upgrade one. I can't remember whether the uh, the transport ship goes that side or the power generators. Ah, oh well, we'll soon find out. Yep, that's that. Tier, select a milestone, hub upgrade one. We need some bars. Okay, so to get those, we need to make some of this. And now that we have enough, we can now make some iron rods. And we'll just get a few of those in the bag and we can then upgrade number one. Go. <laughs> right, okay. Hub the frame. upgrade one, storage and frame completed. Equipment like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations on completing your first milestone, the first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the fix it mission. Next objective, complete hub upgrade two. Okay, so we've got to do hub upgrade two. So for that, I'm gonna need 20 rods and I'm gonna need 10 iron plates. So I'm just gonna quickly do all of the ingot that I've got here. Do the rods. Now I'll do the plates. Okay, good. And we've got a bin here. We can actually put some, some of the stuff that we don't need to necessarily carry around with us in there. Okay, good stuff. And let's do this. Go. Hey. <laughs> Hub upgrade 2, power and shell, completed. The smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots, ah, and the biomass right. burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fixit technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 3. Okay, so hub upgrade three. It's gonna need some more stuffs. Um, we need to think a little bit about this as well because I want to make a workshop and I haven't got enough iron plates and I don't think I can make any more. Bit of a shame. So we're gonna just grab some iron ore from over here. I wanna get enough because I wanna make six little miners. That should be enough. I want to make six little miners to put two on the iron, two on the copper, and two on the limestone, just to get myself started. Okay, so let's get our, our hub, uh, not hub, what am I talking about hub? Our uh, workshop built there. Ah, so I'm gonna need more bars and more of them. Okay, so we can get four miners made for now, which is enough for the moment. That sounds like that might be a sky whale thing. I can't remember what they're called. I don't see it though. It's very loud. <laughs> Alright, well, either way. Let's stick one of these in my hands. Right, so this is one of the most amazing animations in the game. I absolutely love these little things. The way that eyes appear to blink, the way it all kind of pops out of itself. Oh, it's just so good! Honestly, infinite respect to the person that, that animated those. It's so, so good. <laughs> right, where was my copper? I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. leave those going right um, so I think what are we doing next we've got craft events production so smelter and a power line so a smelter but we're gonna need wire so I want to build two smelt now I don't want to go too mad at the moment literally all I want is a really super super basic setup nothing uh, nothing complex because I'm gonna rip it all out and replace it with the ones done from um, uh, you know, I want the foundations to make a sort of sensible, neat base. I, li I like everything to be neat and tidy. So, um, yeah, uh, let's get some more of this underway. Okay, so let's have a look. We're going to put a smelter up here. This one's going to make iron for me. We've got to get power to it. 
So we're going to run power, but we need to make cable. We need to make cables. Cables, cables, cables. We have cables for power. Now I need to put a pole in between, but I don't think we've actually unlocked them yet. So uh, that'll be in a minute. And just for ease, we're just going to do that. And then we're going to quickly grab some more of these. There's a doggo over there. Oh, hang on. I've just seen there's a doggo, there's a doggo. I need the berries. Berry, berry, berry. I've got to remember the button. Where's it gone? Doggo, doggo, doggo. Where are you? There you are. Hey, doggo. Oh, I ate it. What's the drop button? Uh, H? There we go. No, it's not. I genuinely can't remember how you drop a drop something. A few moments later. Ah, oh, my brain. Literally, I think you actually you just do that. Ah, oh, it puts it on the floor. And now I've I've lost him. He's gone away. Oh no! I lost the opportunity to get a doggo. Oh, it's just leaves and no doggo. What a disappointment. <laughs> I'm actually gutted. I ate two of the raspberries and threw one on the floor. And he'd already gone by the time I did. <gasps> no, there he is. There he is. Yo. Come back. Quick, cause it's getting dark. You. There you go. Wanna do it. Yes. Hey, doggo with long name, brilliant. Now, so he'll follow me around now, which is good. And occasionally he will bring me stuff. And sometimes they bring power shards. Sometimes they bring useful items. Other times they bring you radioactive waste. I think what was I? I was trying to do before I got massively distracted just then. I was creating these. I need to put that in there. There we go. Right. So that's now doing that, so that's creating me my stuff. Hey dude, you haven't brought anything yet. <laughs> right. So that's doing its thing, and then, let's see, what do I need to do? I need to get all that stuff in there. Okay, so, we need... Right, so we're going to need 20 of those, 20 of those. So for the moment we are just got to do a bit more manual, manual crafting. Alright, we now have enough to... Uh, get this underway so there we go next tier done hub upgrade 3 interior furnishing completed the constructor can produce simple parts and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid when you make the inevitable mistake fix its dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction in line with our zero waste policy we understand that Fixit pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 4. That's the toilet. You can actually put things in the toilet now. <laughs> so you can put things in the toilet and flush them. I don't know where they go. I don't know if that's a way of getting rid of nuclear waste. What is that noise? Okay. So this is a new thing. I haven't really played with this yet. This is how you can customize your character now. That's really cool. And that's a giant head. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's really cool. So, um, hey doggo, you still haven't got anything. Right. We need to give you a name at some point, but we're not going to do it today. We're going to do that later. We'll do that in the next episode. Perhaps if there's anybody actually still watching, they can suggest a name for the doggo in the next episode. I doubt there's anyone actually watching. Right. Hub upgrade four. Oh, we need a lot of things. So let's see. Can we now actually make some stuff to make them? We can. But we need reinforced plates. So we need... Oh, my goodness me. We need so much stuff. Right. We need a little bit of this done. I can make power poles now though, so this is good. So, something I'm going to do here is get rid of that. And I'm going to come out of here. And, oh, I'm missing concrete. I don't think I can, can I actually, oh, all right, you're in the way now, mate. Can I actually make concrete yet? I can, right, let's make some concrete. Okay, so now we can connect to there. 
connector there. And the reason we need to do that is you can only connect one thing to this. So you have to come out to a power pole so that you can go off to multiple places from there. So that gets us this back up and running again, which we can come in, take that stuff, and fill it back up again, get it underway. Uh, could we do biomass yet? I didn't see that yet. No, we can't do biomass yet, so we've still got to put like leaves in it. Which is fine. They're just not quite as efficient as biomass. There we go. Right, so that's that. So that's doing. We need another one. So we're going to need some more bars. So while I was here, I just made enough to make some of these iron reinforced iron plates. Because we need these for the constructors. So I'm going to make four of those, which gives us two constructors, I believe. Uh, right, and that should be enough of that for the moment. We are going to be short on those soon. So yeah, we need to get that underway. So... I'm going to build another smelter. I'm going to build that here. Like so. Because we can run up here and we can grab some of these. Woohoo! And we can put copper in this one and get that one turning over. Copper for us. There we go. So that's building up that for us. This one up here is working away, that's good. Next we've got to build our constructors. So what do we need for those? Ah, we're going to need more wire. Ah, yep. Okay, you got anything yet? Okay, we've got enough to build our two constructors, which I'm going to build just here. As I say, this isn't all about neatness at the moment. It's just about getting it all working. Uh, we've run out of cables again. So one of the things uh, you might be thinking, if you're familiar with this game, is why didn't you go and find a drop pod and just collect a load of the early game stuff that that's probably sitting around a drop pod? And I absolutely could do that. But I didn't want to. I wanted to do it myself. I wanted to feel like I earned some of this. Which I won't if I uh, I just go and find a drop pod. It's all fine. It's all good. There's no hurry. We're playing the game. Going to enjoy it. Okay. So now that I have done that, I'm going to come out of this one. I'm going to create another pod there. I'm gonna connect to this, and I'm going to connect to this. Hey, doggo. Right. So this guy here, I need you creating me iron plates, please, and you can have some of those. This guy here, uh, what am I going to need? I didn't even check what I need. What do I need? Uh, to be fair, I can make 20 cables in no time at all. So I am actually going to rush over here, grab those ones. Fill that back up again. I'm going to get you doing my plates as well. Actually, do I do get you? No, I'll get you doing some rods. There we go. I'm going to put that in there. Because, yeah, uh, this is all going to come together. It'll be fine. Right. Uh, what am I doing next? Cables. So, yeah, 20 cables is pretty, pretty easy to do. I'm going to need to do a similar thing soon for the concrete, because concrete's just going to become more and more needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go and create a number two miners. And where was that limestone? I'm pretty sure it was over this way, wasn't it? <laughs> I just thought I'd have a quick look over there. It's a waterfall that just falls to a sheer drop, so I don't think I'll go down there just yet. That should give me enough to get the next one unlocked. How are we doing on fuel? Oh, so got loads. Okay, so let's do some of this. That's good. Uh, I need to get my cables, so I need 20 cables. There we go. Right, and we're going to need 75 iron plates, so let's see how you're doing. There we go, we have our 75 iron plates. Nice. Let's go and get all of this lot up here sorted out. So we'll grab some of that, grab that, and we'll fill you back up. you back up and you've done all my bars 
moment, you might as well be making me some of that while we're waiting. Okay, this underway. Boosh. Hub upgrade four, landing platform and utilities completed. Nice. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents, I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. <laughs> there is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 5. <laughs> I bet you that a lot of people have said, I don't understand why I can't connect a, <laughs> a conveyor belt to one of those little portable miners. That's really funny. Right. So, we need to create 50 cables. Right, we almost have enough already. Um, just grab these plates. And I think that is all good so we'll take all of that out of there for now okay so we are just short a few rods and some wires okay so let's get for these underway that will be enough of the cables i'm just going to make enough to do some rods myself just seems as there's only 11 to make it's not really the biggest deal in the world is it there we go now we can do the next one boosh Hub upgrade 5, hey. power expansion completed. The miner, unlike portable miners, one. can be connected to conveyor belts and requires power to function. Caution, as you expand, Aha. the energy demand of your production may exceed the capacity of your Aha. power grid. The onboarding program Excellent. was established because Fixit pioneers often experience memory issues after planet fall. If you are experiencing nosebleeds, nausea, existentialism, or an itchy scalp, there is no <laughs> need for concern. This should pass within five to seven work days. Next objective, complete hub upgrade six. All right, we're, we're, we're making good progress. Oh, he found me a power slug. Thank you very much, doggo, yet to be named. Right, well, we'll put that away in our little box for the moment. Along with all of that, some mushrooms, the power slug. Okay, this is looking, looking good, looking good. Right, so, I've just got to think what I need to do now. So, let's see, our next upgrade. We're going to need quite a lot of concrete. We've got to get that concrete automated. We've now got two of these, which means that we could potentially get three miners running. So, a miner is one of these now. We can press this plus button. We want three miners. Okay, so uh, we need to make three portable miners. We've got them. That's no problem. Uh, we need some concrete, so we're going to have to go and get. You can actually probably just pick up one of those portable miners, right? So if we grab you, pick up. That gets. I'm going to make just a little bit more than I need because I want to create some more power infrastructure. I don't want to put everything all on the same one for the moment. Actually, it doesn't really matter whether I do or don't. Uh, got a bit of that. Right, we're good. Right, so we can now go and make our proper miners. So let's start with this one up here. So we'll pick up you, and we'll pick up you. Miner. Look at that beastie. <laughs> love it. Right. In fact, yeah, we're just going to do this. Like an idiot. Why did I do that for? Wait, what? So that one's full. That one's full. Alright, get rid of you for a minute because I'm getting confused. <laughs> so we create another one here. Which we connect to you. And we connect to you. We'll worry about these two in a bit. Alright, so she is coming alive. That's really good. Now this is where this guy is probably in the wrong position because I don't know. Oh, I can. What's your head? There we go. 
So now we're taking the iron ore straight out of the the miner and we're putting it straight into the smelter. So that will keep that going. That's good. Uh, and then what we're going to do, kill that constructor for a minute. We're then going to plop one of these just there. Half in the floor. Okay, lovely job. We're going to have you just making me iron plates for now. Because we need a, a hundred of those. Uh, and then my organization. I can make myself a storage container. Which I'm going to have face that way. Let's just have a look. There we go, lovely. Right, so we've now got iron plates going off into this storage container. It will take a little while for them to get there. There we go. Right, and that will start building up. So that is the setup for that. Now, because we're going to be using a lot more power, we still can't use biomass yet, so we're still going to have to stick with leaves. So we're going to chuck some leaves into the second burner. Okay, that will give us a bit more power going on. And we're going to go and do it basically, go and do, set up the same thing, but over here. bit. That's good, it's doing its thing, we're getting our copper ore, that's good. And that's going to go into that smelter, that's good. Grand stuff. So then here, ah oh, we've run out of iron plates, uh, so let me get that constructor there. Not a smelter, do the right thing. Constructor. that and then we're going to set this one to just make us wire okay so that's that little setup and we will also do that so that those are going off into this bin here lovely job right our first little bit of automation it's quite exciting so now i need to do it all again but i'm going to make myself uh, what do i need for this again it's iron plates i'm low on iron plates but it's not a problem because i have slightly out of reach because i've made it a bit too tall but whatever that one there also i need to check how am i doing for power so maximum it can do is 40 we're using 26 Okay, it's a little bit close. Okay, it's closer than I thought. That was well timed, wasn't it? <laughs> What's up with this? It's run out of. Oh, we because we're we're burning through the leaves now. We really need that biomass stuff. Okay, get some more leaves. You got to remember to switch. Make sure that everything is switched back on. Right, it is good. Okay. We try it again. Okay, that gets that up and running. Now this goes doesn't need a smelter because this is limestone, so you don't smelt limestone. You put it straight into a constructor, which I could have sworn I just made two reinforced plates for, but apparently I didn't. So we're gonna do that. That. That's good. And then this this bin here. We 
should start seeing wait a minute it helps if I actually tell it what to do <laughs> there we go we should start seeing lashings and lashings of concrete here they come it's exceptionally slow the concrete is not a fast one okay so this is good so the one we don't have automated at the moment is the bars so I will have to I guess make those myself uh, yo what's up what have we got another power slug oh you're so lovely well done uh, so that's doing its thing it's just slow hmm. okay I'm going to put this power slug away as well uh, and some of that keep two stacks on me that one can go in there as well right I'll put the wood in there and the miners for the moment because we don't need them right okay okay so I need to make a lot of these iron rods so we need the hundred let's just get that underway okay so we have the rods made uh, let's see how we're doing so over here this is the wire how are we doing for our wire uh, we got enough of that that's great and then over here is going to be our iron plates a little way to go yeah mind you we actually don't need that many so these will be a way off yeah, look, we've only got 30 of those. Oh, mind you, we only need 50. So actually, we're, we're not doing bad at all, really. But we are right on our... <laughs> we're right on our power. Power limits. So while that's doing that, I'm just going to have a quick wander over here. I got stuck. Quite hard exploring until you've unlocked like the foundations and the, like, the ladder and the ways to get up and over things. But this is fine. Ooh, up there. That's a summer sloop by the looks of it. Right. So we've got enough of those. They're they're doing their job fine. Okay. It's all these guys over here. We're just sitting waiting on, really, isn't it? There we go. We've now got enough of those. We now have enough of those. We're good to go. We can unlock number seven. I think set is seven the last one. I can't remember now. It's either seven or eight. Here we go. Hub upgrade six. Landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations, you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a fix-it pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements, because a future with Fixit is a future with you. Tier 1 and 2 milestones are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. I forgot, that's so cool. This, the way the ship moves and flies around and everything, I love it. I don't ever get bored of it. So satisfying. So, we've now completed, uh, we've, we've completed the onboarding. This is amazing. So the thing we're going to want, oh look, they have made, they have tweaked this. They've made this look really good. Oh, look at all the stuff we need to unlock. There's so much to do. But basically, base building. This is the one I want to do right now. Uh, I want to start here. And then I want to remake sort of what I've built so far. Um, and yeah, oh, ho, ho. this is cool. This is really exciting. So let's just have a quick look. What do we need to do? So we, we do need a lot of concrete and the, that is going to take us a little while because that's not exactly going fast over here, is it? <laughs> yeah, 200 is going to be a little while. Um, 100 plates, yeah, that'll take a short while too but we should be able to do biomass now right let me just grab some of this can we do biomass yes we can so the reason i'm doing biomass for the generators is because it goes it burns slower than it does the leaves 
so therefore the gener makes the generators more efficient. So each fuel is slightly better than the last kind of thing, so this is the best one we've got at the moment, so we'll put all of that in there and then that way we can uh, make sure that we've got plenty. Um, also, I'm going to make some concrete now, just to use up the stack that I've got. I'm also going to uh, make some more rods. Okay, so we almost have enough of everything to unlock the base building tier, which is going to be our first tier and the end of two days video. And there we go. We now have enough. So, let's go and do this most satisfying thing for the first time in this playthrough. Oh, it's so cool. I didn't bring enough rods. I thought I had enough rods. I was wrong. Now I have enough rods, so now I'm going to do it. <laughs> Hey, ready and baboosh! Oh, I love that. Here it goes. Milestone reached. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events <laughs> prior to Planetfall, Oh, it's so cool. assured that memories of See beloved ya. humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. Well, there we go. That is the first step in this playthrough. It's a very simple step. I mean, it's actually quite tidy still, even though it was only temporary. But we've started. We've done the onboarding. We've opened up the first tier. And that is episode one done. So, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember hit that like button. Hitting the subscribe is quite handy as well. Uh, you never know, you might enjoy the, the, the more videos we do. I think it's going to get quite exciting. Obviously, this is really simple beginnings, but I have a feeling this is going to get rather complicated as we go on. So, if you fancy joining me for the journey, I'd love it if you would. Anyway, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.